Hi guys. So uh, today I'm really really pissed off. And why is that? I received a letter from my utility energy supplier, which is named Borgash, which is a supplier, one of the main suppliers in Ireland, that they are going to increase the prices. And we were expecting this, right? Because we know that the prices they go up. They want to charge 70 cent per kilowatt. That is 700 per megawatt. This is without tax and without a, a bunch of other things, levy and uh, standing charges and so on. So I'll uh, put a screenshot of this proposal or letter that I received just to prove you that I'm not, I'm not talking rubbish here. So I'm an electrical engineer. I know how energy is made. Uh, I'm a business owner, so I know a little a bit of, about money and about business. So I start digging to see how the price is made and uh, what are the wholesale prices and uh, trying to figure out what's a markup, right? And how the whole thing is actually run. And I got to the conclusion that this whole energy industry is actually racketeering. I mean, you can't charge somebody seven times the, the, the cost. It's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, you're going to put business businesses out of business. I, I don't see why you would do that if you are the Irish government. Uh, unless you are in cahoot with the energy companies because you charge a lot of tax on this. But I don't know. So I'll show you some data. So today is the 26th of October 2022. Um, so I'll show you the prices for today markets and I'll show you the, some historical prices just to see from where I'm coming and where we go. So, first of all, a little bit of background. This is how the energy is actually made, what is made of in Ireland, right? So a bit of wind, some natural gas. Now, this is a loss here, the, the split is all loss due to transport, due to transport and other stuff and then we have what is actually reaching to the consumer so most of the energy is actually made of gas and some from the wind now this ratio might change on a daily basis if the wind is blowing or not uh, this is from 2020 but i don't think it has changed much since um, and this is somehow in line with um, where do we have we have this right which actually shows how much is made of wind what you see in yellow and how much is made of gas, right? So uh, this is pretty much what it is. Now, look at look at this graph. This is the wholesale price of energy in Ireland. This has actually this graph stops in August. How conveniently stops in August, right? I didn't find anything more more um, recent, but it actually stops on a peak. So the energy actually had peaked in August 22nd. Uh, As you can see in this absolutely doom and gloom uh, article, which is, by the way, it's, it's accurate, right? So this was written on the 22nd of August and oh, look, the wholesale price went 80% up. Uh, we are going, we're all going to die. But why? It's accurate, as I said, but this is showing only this, right? Those peaks in, in August, where the wholesale energy prices, they peaked all across Europe. And why they peaked? Very, very simple. It's all in the data. Because gas, natural gas peaked, right? This is August. This is when the article was written here, 22nd of August, at the peak. So, oh, we're all going to die. Look, the whole spread has exploded. It's 300 and something. And, oh, what we are going to do? And nobody mentioned that since then the price crashed. This is like 75% crash. If you, if you look, this is actually below the average for the, this period. So now we are below the average for, for the past year. So it, the price of energy is coupled with gas, which is kind of stupid again, but that's the way it is. Now, let's have a look at the prices, today's prices in Europe. Wholesale prices. Look, 
100, 100, 160, those are in Europe, right? Well, Ireland is not here because geographically we are not buying gas from the same sources. Uh, I'm not sure why we are left off here, but anyway, so we buy gas from UK. Now, let's have a look at the gas prices, right? Those are live gas prices, right? So 100 per megawatt of energy gas, right? Now let's have, a, we are not, this is this gas, right? Is this, which is a transaction, I think in Denmark is the market. Now look at the fall of the price just in this month, 45%. Nobody, nobody was calling me from the utility company to tell me, oh, you know what? We're actually making energy at the half of the price. No, no. First of all, we are buying gas. Ireland is buying gas from here, which is nearly double. No, I don't know why. Why we are paying double? Okay, some may say, oh, those are the pipelines. There is not much we can do. Well, I think it is. We can negotiate a little bit. But anyway, let we are buying here. I'll click on this to see the price. Right? This is this is actually gas coming from uh, from Scotland for pipelines. Same thing. Same crash. Right? So yeah, it was a peak here. Right? And it was a crash here. So what is going on? Why the price of energy doesn't go down? I, I think this is a, a I don't know, a racketeering <laughs> business. Now let's have a look. So Ireland is actually buying energy from this market, which is called a CMO, right? So this, this is how much we bought today. This is the price for today, right? For the, for one, uh, megawatt of energy, right? It peaked at 102. So we are buying at one, 100 per megawatt the energy in Ireland. This is the market from, from where the Ireland is actually buying energy, right? 102. So how come the utility, I just got a letter from the utility company, they're asking me to pay 70 cent per kilowatt which is 700 per megawatt so what kind of business is this with seven times the price okay i understand the energy needs to be transported uh, there are some losses i understand that but you can't sell me seven times the price i mean we're a business <laughs> we are manufacturing so what, what's the catch here and I suspect the uh, government is, saying, is staying silent here because they're in Kahoot. And why I'm saying this? Because all this is getting taxed. And it looks much, much better for them to tax something which is seven times the price than taxing something which is only twice of this price. Now, another, another interesting question. Look at the look at this price. Look at look at the price of the of uh, of. Uh, they are saying that 20% uh, for this year, 20% of actually no, 32% of Ireland electricity from 22 was wind. <clears throat> okay, someone can explain me how come our electricity doesn't get cheaper because the wind is not consuming gas. So how come do, do they have the same cost to run the, those uh, those uh, wind farms? Like burning natural gas at the at that peak price, so what is actually what has actually happened? Everybody set the price based on this, and now they are hoping to charge us the same for this period and going forward. And I think this is greed. Has nothing to do with energy. Has nothing to do with Russia, and has nothing to do with the pandemic. This is just pure greed. So, the conc my conclusion to this video is that the prices are locked to the peak price. So, the prices they got up in uh, August and uh, all the energy companies they were just, you know, locking in that price and trying to, to make those contracts um, with the people on, on that kind of price. So, I don't see how they can get away with this when all this data is actually public unless people they don't care or they don't check so I'll leave the conclusion with you I think somebody should ask 
some real questions. And when I say somebody, I mean the government. Because this cannot continue. This is going to put down too many businesses. But, look, I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you next time.